Hi, and welcome to one of our first of many Rock Studio videos streaming to you from Rockwell Automation here in Boston. My name is Amy Montes, the Director of Marketing at Rockwell Automation. Thanks for watching. And thank you, Greg and Matt, for being with me here today. What I want to do is introduce to Matt and Greg um, Automotors and ClearPath Robotics, our, our new recent acquisition. Uh, Greg Gernard is our uh, VPGM of our motion business at Rockwell Automation, and I'm here also with Matt Rendell, who is the uh, CEO and um, co-founder of ClearPath Robotics and Auto Motors. Welcome, guys. We're really excited to have you here at the show here today. Um, and, and wow, what a show. We're really excited to have you. Um, Matt, I want to start with you as we go through and have this dialogue is, you know, first a bit is, you know, we here at Rockwell obviously very excited with the recent acquisition um, and we're able to, to be here at, at the show today. Can you just give us a brief introduction into who is Automotors, um, what is the technology, and you know, really what it brings to the industry? Yeah, happy to. Thanks, Amy. Really excited to be here. So Automotors, in a nutshell, is, tr is taking autonomous technology, like you might be familiar with, self-driving cars driving on public roads, but bringing it to factories. Using this autonomous technology, we are enabling customers in the manufacturing space to automate material movement from one part of the facility to another. And when you deploy lots of autonomous vehicles, our auto autonomous mobile robots, you have a, a fleet of autonomous vehicles enabling full end-to-end -end autonomous production logistics. And this helps manufacturers create new productivity and new safety benefits for their operating environment. That's amazing. I mean, it's it's really exciting technology, and I know it's garnered a lot of excitement here on the show floor after the last few days. Tell me a little bit about how Auto and ClearPath got started, and kind of what that journey looked like for you. Well, uh, <laughs> we started uh, would have been 15 years ago, right out of the University of Waterloo. Uh, so. Yeah, we, my co-founders and I met on the robotics club. We were the, the robot nerds building robots, you know, when we weren't cramming for exams or trying to get lab work done. This is what we did for fun in our, in our spare time. Um, and when we graduated, our, our goal was really just, hey, we're really passionate about mobile robots and wouldn't it be great to figure out how to make a career of what we're passionate about? And then fast forward 15 years and here we are. Here we are. It's been a, it's been a great partnership to date. Um, switching over to you, Greg, and talking to you about about auto and, and clear path and, and and why them. I mean, as we look at you know the portfolio of our motion portfolio, we have a lot a lot of strong offerings today with our robotic capabilities, our independent car technology. Can you talk to me a little bit about why auto and why why this great acquisition um, for us to be partners and move forward together? Yeah, Amy, and thank you uh, for taking the time to talk to Matt and I about this. But if I think about um, where automation is going in the future and how our legacy has been in the machine and how do we really optimize that, what our customers are looking for and clients are looking for, how do you take that automation outside and bring it more throughout, you know, in the process, between the process and others. And really, when we take a step back and look at that, we really have some great um, technology today with, as you mentioned, independent cart, and, but that's fixed to the floor. Right. And our customers are asking for, they need more mobility. So uh, a few years back, we started looking at robotics. Uh, I was introduced to Matt through, um, through a search, and we continued to dialogue about the partnership, and I got to learn more about the, you know, Matt's company and the vision that they were going, and as Matt shared, the vision of how do we really solve complex challenges in manufacturing, which is really important for us because that's really our it's mainstay. Exactly. And the industries that they were focused on aligned with our industries, the technology, the culture that they've built over the years uh, aligned with our culture as well. So uh, as I was looking with different partners, it, it wasn't, you know, there wasn't a better fit than bringing the automotors team. And it really now helps us solve really challenging problems across an ecosystem. Matt mentioned the autonomous production logistics. It's an area that we now can serve a customer end to end right. and no other industrial automation provider will be able to, to do that. So we're truly in a market of one. So it was a great acquisition and a great team and I'm excited to, uh, to be on the journey. Yeah, no, absolutely. Definitely um, it's been a great journey thus far. 
So if I'm a customer, right, and and looking at you know the, the customer base that's that's being served, and you know obviously we know about a lot of you know production logistics and some of the um, you know the issues that that companies face with workforce. Talk to me a little bit about how auto. And, you know, provide you know the solution that Auto provides really meets the needs and helping manufacturers solve for those problems. Yeah, so material handling is a critical aspect of any manufacturing operation that magnifies tremendously as you get into larger and larger manufacturing plants. Our sweet spot is helping the world's largest manufacturers operating the world's largest plants recapture the people that they use for material handling and allow those really scarce, precious coworkers to be put to work in higher value, higher impact parts of the operation and allow autonomous mobile robots to do the material handling. Mm -hmm. The outcome there is then a more productive workplace because you're able to increase your output with people doing more impactful things and you're also able to have a safer operation. Generally, as you embrace automation, your workplace becomes mm -hmm. safer. So we're just so excited about what we can do for manufacturers who embrace autonomous mobile robots to deliver safer and more productive workplaces. Excellent, I have one more question for you, Matt, and then I'll close my last question with Greg. But my question for you is, I mean, these robots, ARMs, have really garnered a lot of attention on the show floor here over the last few days, and they're really exciting. Um, people, a lot of interest, and you know, they're great, they're moving around, that's the hardware. But mm -hmm. part of the differentiation is really about the software. Can you tell me a, a bit about the software? Yeah, uh, the software really is the crown jewel. Mm -hmm. um, so the, the, the first layer of the software is the autopilot system at the vehicle level. Each vehicle needs to be independently intelligent and safe. So we've got a really, really powerful, sophisticated piece of software that runs on the vehicle, scans all the information coming off of the, the sensors on board, and then is able to intelligently make decisions about where it is, where it needs to go, how to best get there, and how to adapt to real-time change in that environment. But then one layer higher, if you think about a whole fleet of these vehicles operating together, there needs to be an air traffic controller or a switchboard operator that matches the right vehicle to the right job or delivery so that the overall network is performing at, at peak productivity. So right. second layer is fleet manager and really excited about what we're able to do now in the Rockwell family, integrating fleet manager with optics and Plex among other pieces of software to bring even more potent uh, value propositions and use cases to our shared customer base. That's excellent, and that's an excellent segue. Um, so thanks for sharing a bit about the software and the differentiation of the software, but it kind of leads to, the, to my last question that I have for today is, Greg, what's next with auto and kind of the, the limitless possibilities that we have uh, with the technology? Yeah, super excited because I think it's lim limitless on what challenges we're going to be able to help solve customers. But as Matt mentioned, the ability for us to connect with different parts of the Rockwell architecture, whether it be some of the control architecture, whether it's the MES or the manufacturing execution software of Plex, Factory Talk Production Center. So what we're really going to be focused on over the next six to nine months is really driving those connections out across the ecosystem. And then we're also going to energize our system integrator network and our partners to really take this out and really show the amplification across the world. So over the next six to nine months, there's a lot of excitement. I know there's been a lot of traffic in the booth today and a lot of the uh, customers and other Rockwell partners coming up and introducing themselves. So at that point, going back to the, the really limitless opportunities we have to, to grow um, is really what I'm looking forward to. Excellent. Well, we're super excited, Matt, to have you and your team as part of the Rockwell family. It's been great up until now. Um, we look forward to what, what's coming next. I know next week you'll be in Germany at SPS uh, demonstrating, mm -hmm. you'll have equipment and people being able to be there and, and see things in the Rockwell Automation booth. Um, so we want to thank you again. Um, to learn, you can, uh, to learn more about automotors, you can click in the link in the post here to learn more about it. Thanks for watching, and again, don't go anywhere. We'll be right back with more from Rockwell Automation. Thanks again.